Should I stay or should I go? A question that many players on the Vancouver Canucks are going to be thinking to themselves. What I wanted to do over the next few days, because I am going on a trip this weekend, was talk about some of the free agents to be on the Vancouver Canucks and teams that they are linked to or have been linked to in the past that have been sort of garnering traction in regards to conversations here. So, of course, you can read. You saw the title. You saw the thumbnail. Today, we are talking about one of the trees in Vancouver. No, this is not a tree chilling out there at Dude Chillin' Park, but we are talking about one of the biggest stumps on the Vancouver Canucks defense core, Nikita Zadorov. Because when it comes to Zadorov, I feel like he has been the guy that has had the most to gain out of the Vancouver Canucks playoff run. And for a guy who was making only $3 million a season on his last contract, he could very well be due for a huge raise. And this may or may not fall within the realm of Vancouver's possible salary cap structure. Now, we did talk yesterday about the comments that Zadorov made about whether or not he had priced himself out of Vancouver. He said, you guys got to stop listening to Edmonton reporters because that's not a thing. It's not confirmed. It doesn't exist. So who knows what's going to happen here over the next few days. But what I wanted to do was go out there and talk about Nikita Zadorov in the context of other NHL teams, because we have had ourselves some Rumors circulating here and there talking about other teams that could get their grubby paws on Big Z. Big Z? Big Z? I don't know. Big Z sounds kind of weird, not gonna lie. But either way, Nikita Zadorov this season had himself a fantastic showcase with the Canucks in the playoffs. Eight points in 13 games played and four goals. He outscored Quinn Hughes in terms of goal production. Quinn had a lot more assists. And Zadorov also had 14 points in 54 regular season Vancouver Canucks games, too. Had he played the full season with Vancouver, he probably would have gotten 20 points, which is roughly what he's been hovering around the past few years with the Calgary Flames. But when it comes to Zadorov, this is a guy who, in the playoffs, his value just skyrocketed. When the games got physical, and when the games got more, let's just say, aggressive, that's when a guy like Nikita Zadorov stands his ground and showcases that whatever it is that you need, you can get out of him. His goal production was just so out of this world. The guy was scoring slap shot goals from the point. He was scoring long-range wrist shots from tight angles. It was an incredible sight to see. Nikita Zadorov awakened this goal-scoring beast within him. And it kind of begs the question, okay, he was so good in the playoffs. Is that where you're going to give him his money's worth? Because, of course, 3.75 mil for Zadorov heading into the season was kind of okay. I'd say maybe it was a bit of an underpay, but... As Rick Dollywall always says, you know, the guy's agent's doing cartwheels because he's so good in the playoffs when the games matter the most. And the question is, if you're going to give five, five and a half million dollars a year to Nikita Zadorov, are you giving him that money because of what he has shown only in the playoffs and not because what he has shown in the rest of the 82 game sample in the regular season? That's going to be the big debate that these NHL teams and the Canucks are going to have to think about because do you want to be paying a guy $5 million a year who's not really a $5 million player in games one to games 82, but in the playoffs all of a sudden becomes that and more? Who really knows? So with Nikita Zadorov's price tag in mind, let's go out there and talk about some of the other teams that have been linked to him, starting out with the Nashville Predators. Yes, 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 the Preds may indeed be in on Z. This article from TVA Sports goes out there and brings up where this is coming from, the Predators in on the Zadorov case. It's actually Elliot Friedman going out there and talking about Zadorov on the 32 Thoughts podcast. They were talking about the Preds, they were talking about Barry Trotz and what exactly it was that they could do. 
Citing Preds GM Barry Trotz, who said that they wanted to add toughness after his team's elimination at the hands of the Vancouver Canucks in the first round of the playoffs, Elliot Friedman argued that the hole left in the back guard following the departure of Ryan McDonough could possibly be filled by a big guy who has a bad temper. Okay, that's just TVA Sports going out there and writing what they want. I can see them going for a guy like Nikita Zadorov, Elliot Friedman said on the 32 Thoughts podcast on Tuesday. Barry Trotz likes going for trees, and Nikita Zadorov is one of them, the journalist also mentioned. There will be a lot of interest in him, and I wonder if Nashville will be one of those teams, Friedman insisted. I think they'll try to come to terms with William Carrier if they can, but if there's a hole in the defense for another nasty defender, they could go out there and get Zadorov. So there you go, eh? Okay, the Predators may be doing some scouting of their own. They didn't like that Nikita Zadorov scored a bunch of clutch goals against them in the series. And the fact that he is big, the fact that he was blocking shots and making hits and making some good plays as well. I mean, I didn't realize this about Nikita Zadorov, but one of the things that he excelled at in the Vancouver Canucks playoff run was breaking the puck out by himself, where he'd have the puck in the zone and there would be a guy or two on him and he'd make like a fancy dangle or something and then just skate it out into the neutral zone himself. It's not the safest play in the world, but he made it work. So there definitely is value there if you're thinking that Zadorov could be this big tree of a puck moving defenseman. All I'm thinking about now is the idea of a Shen and Zadorov pairing. Oh yeah, that does not sound fun for any of these other teams in the NHL's Western Conference. So if Big Z decides to get, you know, some sort of a big raise, maybe the Predators could be in on that, who really knows? We saw the Preds shell out some money last year to get some free agents to help them be competitive. Ryan O'Reilly, Luke Shen, could Zadorov be next on the list after they had an entire six-game sample to scout him in their playoff series? Now, going over to the other team that everybody seems to be talking about in regards to Zadorov, it's the Toronto Maple Leafs, because... This has been a big conversation. If you search up Leafs Zadorov on Twitter, you'll see so many Leafs fans going out there and talking about the idea of Z going out there and signing with Toronto. This was also talked about on the Leafs Nation podcast. Nikita Zadorov is a name the Leafs have been linked to for months, but how steep is the price tag for the soon-to-be UFA? And for this, I mean, it's not surprising to think about as well. Having a look at the Toronto Maple Leafs and their decor, they're always trying to get bigger. They just acquired Edmondson. Brad Trilliving has a plan, and he had Zadorov as well back with the Calgary Flames, so he knows what the guy is all about. With the Maple Leafs' interest in Zadorov in this previous season, only to not get that trade done, there still is a link that a lot of people in Toronto Maple Leafs land are going out there and bringing up. But again, this is one of these things where the price tag might be a bit too high. However, if you're trading away Mitch Marner, if you're trading away Johnny T, if you're going in a completely new direction with the Toronto Maple Leafs, maybe you need some stability on the back end. And maybe there will be some room to maneuver with the cap and be a little bit generous to many of the guys that you might not have been able to be generous to in the past. That Marner and Tavares contract, oh yeah, those have been holding up the Maple Leafs for years. So if you get rid of them, all of a sudden it becomes a lot easier to say, okay, now we can shell out a little bit of an overpay to a guy like Zadorov. We can shell out a little bit of an overpay to some other guys that we are interested in getting in free agency and spread the wealth a little bit. You know, I don't want to go all Russian communist manifesto on you, but this would be an interesting idea. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're a Nashville Predators fan, what are your opinions on the idea of Nikita Zadorov being targeted by your team? As according to Elliot Friedman, it's something he thinks that you should think about. And if you're a Toronto Maple Leafs fan, I mean, look, Zadorov has been linked to the Leafs for months, and those rumors haven't gone away anytime soon, especially with the I don't want to say announcement, but the insinuation that Marner and Tavares and a lot of these guys are going to be maybe on the move, freeing up some money, etc., etc. So, thoughts in the comment section below if you are Canucks, Predators, or Leafs fan. What are your opinions about Nikita Zadorov and how much you think he should cost? I hope you enjoyed this Vrishar Shorts 99. And, bye. <laughs>